Well, hi guys. Welcome to um, Warwickshire Outdoors. Uh, today I've come out into the countryside to primarily to look for deer. Um, this is a place where I've seen deer quite a few times. Um, and the spot right here is where I've come closest to deer in the past actually. Um, there's a lot of field work going on at the moment. So I think I've chosen the wrong day because there's obviously a lot of noise and stuff. Whether the deer around here are used to it or not, I don't know, we'll have to see. But this spot here is where I've come closer uh, to deer than ever before. Um, a female roe deer ran out of this woods across here, chased by a male with a very short antlers. They look quite young uh, and they run right in front of me. They didn't see me at all. And um, the female carried running across the field and disappeared over there. The male got about as far as here and spotted me uh, and just stood stock still stared at me for a while forgot about the female and then ran back into the woods um yeah that was brilliant i, I went into the wood to see if i could see any trace of deer uh, and could i of course i couldn't so yes we're primarily out to see deer today hopefully um as i say this is the best place i've seen before um well the closest i've got to them but as i said uh, things don't always go according to plan, do they? I've got some lunch with me. Um, I want to get hungry because it's almost lunch time. It's Saturday, the 17th of October. It's 9 degrees and it is 10 to 1 in the afternoon. So this is the trail I'm following at the moment. See it snakes through the woods here. There's a few disturbed areas. I don't think many people come in here. There's a few spots where I've noticed. It's like squirrels or buried acorns or something. I haven't seen any signs of footprints yet though. This is a fascinating place. Down in a dell here, which is sunk quite low.
somebody's cut some steps in here. These steps weren't here last time I was in this wood. Well, I've just come up those steps and I found this. This definitely wasn't here a month or two ago. Let's have a look. Well, somebody's been here and built a bushcraft shelter. They've even made a little place to make a fire look. How intriguing. They've utilised this fantastic tree coming out of here. Look at that, there's some fantastic tree shapes around here. Oh, that's exciting. I've just come from over there, that's where I found that shelter being built and I've come across these cross trunks and this little area here would make a, a nice place to bivy actually and There's a quite a few nice little clearing spots here where you could bring your bivy and tarp you can even hammock here for the night Okay, I've been in the woods for about an hour I've been uh, as stealthy as possible. Um, I've stayed in a couple of quiet spots and I've also got on the edge, got my binoculars out and to see if I could see any deer. Um, but I guess it's early days yet. I've only been here about an hour. Um, I plan to be here another couple of hours yet.
Well, I've been out for a couple of hours now. Um, I've seen squirrels, buzzard, plenty of birds, a couple of pheasants. There's some freshly dug rabbit holes around here. Lots of evidence of rabbit activity, squirrel activity. Um, but I haven't been able to recognise one deer footprint. Um, and I think perhaps the the sound of the farm work going on today um, isn't helping, so I don't think I'm going to see anything today. But it's a nice bit of woodland though. Right guys, I'm hungry, so I'm going to have some lunch. So today I bought with me something simple and cheap as well. Peel of rice. Uh, that costs about 67 pence. And there's no additives or preserv preservatives in it, it's all good stuff. And um, mackerel in hot chilli sauce. That cost, oh, I don't know, about 80p, something like that. So, one under two pounds you can get a decent meal. And it's a lot cheaper than buying the ready-made backpackers meals. Which are okay in their own right, and they serve a purpose, but for a day like today, So you put a few mils of water in, a bit too much in there, you only need about 30 mils. <laughs> See there's quite a lot in there. Right, lunch is ready. So I'm going to eat my lunch now. I'm hungry. So I've been here quite a while. I've had a little wander around. Found some nice little quiet spots to sit for a while. There's lots of really interesting foreign wood here. I should have bought my... Um, uh, bush box or something, a twig a twig stove, there's there's <laughs> there's loads of fuel on the floor here. Another thing I've noticed there's lots of bird boxes in here. All different sorts, all different styles. That's pretty cool. this cool split tree here. I sat down here for a while, out of sight. You get a good view into the woods from here. 
I sat there for quite a while, not making a sound and not moving, but I didn't see anything. When I got to the, this edge of the wood, I noticed a fence here, so I went and had a look to see what the fence was. I should have known really. The scourge of HS2 again. There's lots of trees been chopped down here. All here big, very big, very old oak. As you can see through there, there's a very large pile of very old trees that have been destroyed. Uh, large swathes of ancient woodland have been destroyed by HS2. Right over in the distance there, there's a very large pile of very thick, very old trees. I've also noticed on a lot of these trees are these black spots on the leaves they're everywhere on all the trees here maybe somebody can tell me what it is So thanks for watching guys, just a short film today. Um, it's getting quite late now, the sun is low, although it's brighter and the clouds have disappeared, it's getting colder and as the sun goes down it's throwing off this lovely light into the top of the, the canopy. Um, but it's going to go down pretty rapidly now, it's going to get dark soon. Um, I'm going to go out this way because um, I think you can only, there's only one way in and one way out really. Um, so thank you very much for watching sorry we didn't see any deer today but that's the way it goes isn't it um, but what we did see is was, it was great what I wanted to do as well today was uh, have a look for a, a potential bivy spot and I've definitely found one here I think it'd be nice to put a, a hooped bivy up here one night and see how that goes um, I know if somebody stays here on occasion I've never seen evidence of people being here before um, however saying that I haven't been that, here that many times but anyway thanks for watching please subscribe oh um, I'm also experimenting with my camera settings today so I've shot this in 2.7k um, so let me know what you think that looks like and uh, please subscribe and take care everybody and see you soon bye
Well, on the way out, I came across this lovely spot. The sun's going down over that way. So it'd be a great spot to sit and just watch the sun going down. See the sun's going down over that way. <laughs> 